The year was 1958, and the world was locked in a tense race for supremacy between the United States and the Soviet Union. Having launched the world's first nuclear-powered submarine, the USS Nautilus, SSN-571, four years earlier, the U.S. Navy was poised to attempt a feat previously considered impossible. Under the command of Commander William R. Anderson, the Nautilus embarked on a top-secret mission codenamed Operation Sunshine. The goal was audacious to be the first vessel in history to travel beneath the perpetually frozen, unforgiving ice cap of the North Pole. This journey was fraught with extreme danger. Navigating without seeing the surface, relying only on advanced inertial navigation systems, the crew faced the constant, terrifying threat of ice keels, massive downward-pointing formations of ice that could crush or instantly trap the submarine. On August 3, 1958, after 96 tense hours submerged, the Nautilus successfully passed directly under the geographical North Pole. The crew had no visual proof, only the constant whir of the navigation equipment confirming their exact position at 90 degrees north. This astonishing achievement wasn't just a win for American ingenuity, it proved the feasibility of underwater navigation in the Arctic opening up vital, previously inaccessible sea lanes and fundamentally changing the landscape of naval strategy for decades to come.